the Bradford Exchange in action. We're going to hear from Ken Resnick. But first, we'll take this very quick break. Don't go anywhere. The action has just begun on TCW Wrestling. I'm talking about Boyd Bradford and yeah. the Bradford Exchange. My kind They're of coming up in action, and Ken Resnick has them. Ken, take it away. Thanks, fellows. Let's get right to the answers that millions have been waiting for. Yeah. Where is John Michael? Everyone saw the three of you brutally attack him, kidnap him, kidnap and he hasn't him. been seen since. Where is he? Kidnap him? We didn't kidnap nobody, Ken Resnick. You understand? John Michael came willingly with us. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> what is that sound? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's you. It's you. I should have known. Wait a minute. <laughs> willingly. You're saying willing contract negotiations in a body bag that what just happened to be under the ring? Listen, that body bag didn't come from the ring, you understand? It was a body bag straight from hell. <laughs> oh, that's, that yeah, sounds right. Where is John Michael? No one's seen him. No one's buying this willingness. You three brutally attacked him, put him in a body bag, and kidnapped him. You took his soul. Where is he? John Michael, he's hiding out. He's laying low, you understand? The Bradford Exchange does not like to expose our business to all the world. We're in deep seated extremely intense ne contract negotiations you understand that's where john michael is all right yeah. boy the clown <laughs> you're in action this week yeah. and granted you have been on a bit of a roll having come back from so we say fighting some demons let me turn this around on you for a minute okay you know what the difference between a guy like you just a guy like all these jabronis out there, you know what the difference between <laughs> y'all and me are? What's that difference? You know what the difference is? You tell me. Well, let me ask you another question. If your, cap, if your cup is half full of water, are you one of those half full or half empty guys? Half full. Is that right? How about you? How about you, cameraman? Half full or half empty? Yeah, what about you? <laughs> See, that's the difference. Me? My cup runneth over. If it's half full of water, it's overflowing with air. And I'm the guy that we're uh, let's, go, let's go to the ring. Thank you, gentlemen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Bradford Exchange from the Windy City, accompanied by Boyd the Clown and Boyd Bradford, weighing 257 pounds, Killer Nichols. <laughs> the Bradford Exchange is about to make its way to the ring. I like these guys. Every time I see Ken Resnick interviewing the Bradford Exchange, I think how much I love my job here at Ringside. That's Killer Nichols, who, according to Boyd Bradford, is not billed as from hell, but is literally from hell. <laughs> hey, did you notice how they were messing with Resnick? They were talking about who might be in the match, who might not. They're talking about some guy that apparently Resnick thinks they kidnapped somebody named John Michael. I'm going to have to investigate that. I never heard about that situation. You were here with me at ringside. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not only did they kidnap him, they put him in a body bag. Uh, he went willingly. He said, look, I'm tired. I need a nap. Put me to sleep. Yeah, he was put to sleep all right. <laughs> talking about putting to sleep. Killer Nichols is looking to put somebody to sleep. He's in an even worse mood now after having been defeated by international champion Tim And Stone. his opponent from Boone County, weighing 203 pounds, Gary Graham. In terms of the kidnapping of John Michael, the question is, and you might know this, Brian, as the owner, where is he? Here's another question. Is he alive? Is he dead? Oh, don't even insinuate something crazy like that. I'm, from my understanding, and according to what Boyd has said, there's some kind of nigga. Watch out, this nutcase with a chain. Gary Graham, the master of the Graham Cracker Crunch. The worst pun ever. Uh oh. Yeah. We got a hammer and a chain about to collide. If Boyd the Clown would have met Gary Graham there, and now he's in the ring running around. What is wrong with this idiot? Why? And that dog call. Why does Nichols even need Bradford and Boyd at ringside anyway? That is just, it's just beyond me. Now, whoa, have you ever heard? 
just like when I go, when you're doing something, and I come out and I support you. It's moral support. Well, let's, look it up. Let's see if it, and indeed we are talking only about moral support. You know, you see pro wrestlers come out, and they've got a lot on their, on their, oh, on their fight. But I've never seen uh, the term pro wrestler. And I'm not sure Gary Graham is going to see much, if at all, in this entire match, other than some punches and some kicks coming at a at him at a very very fast pace killer nickels oh well let's call it let's call it how i see it chris cruz it's probably the fact that gary graham can only spell the words pro wrestler and that's why those two words just so happen to appear on his tights and losers probably going to go on there after this matchup against killer nickels and gary graham just gets out of the way of killer nickels and has quickly turned this match around Take nothing away from Gary Graham. He's a tremendous athlete, but he is he is outmatched against a guy like Killer Nichols. Look at this man, six foot four, 260 plus pounds of mean madness. The challenge with Killer Nichols is not only is he mean, not only is he violent, not only is he possibly literally from hell, but he is a tremendous technical wrestler. Very tough to defend against that. Very unpredictable. I have a question. You and Nichols, have you talked much? How can you talk to the guy? Well, you you two obviously share barbers, because look at your hairstyles. Very similar. <laughs> the big difference is he's got something on top. Oh, and <laughs> oh, speaking of on top. <laughs> Boink has just <laughs> clocked Gary Graham. And now watch this. Watch this. He's going to intimate. He's going to intimate. To the uh, to the referee that he's just trying to help Gary Graham up. Anime. No, it's exactly what he's doing. Referee Mark Wilson right there now to see. Look at that. Look at that sportsmanship. What a sportsman type guy this Boink the Clown is right there helping Gary Graham in. Very sportsman left to the mush. <laughs> nice. Gary Graham has probably got to say it says pro wrestler on my tights. Maybe. It should say service technician. That's what I probably should have chosen as a career. Nichols now going to wear down Gary Graham. Yeah, look at that talking trash. I like when a man can apply a wrestling hold and then turn around and talk a little trash. Fans, we're going to take a very quick break now. We'll come back with more action here on TCW Wrestling. Gary Graham has slowed down Killer Nichols, but it looks like only for mere seconds. Hip toss, and Killer Nichols just again with a very technically sound professional wrestling move. Nichols is a brute. You know, there's a lot of rumors out there that this man spent time in the prisons, some of the nastiest prisons in America, and that's where he learned to wrestle. I don't know. I think the man, this man, this man is like, I think he's a deacon of the church. I mean, come on. A deacon of the church? Yeah. Haven't you heard that? I think you meant demon. A demon. <laughs> a demon literally from hell. And Gary Graham has got some momentum. But he's got nothing behind those punches. And I mean nothing. Killer Nichols. Oh, Killer Nichols moves in. Again, sometimes this ain't pretty. But Nichols, now the Irish whip to the far corner. And Nichols says, it's over. Oh. But Gary, Gary Graham barely gets the boot up. Gary Graham has some momentum. No! Uh-oh. Guess where he's going. <laughs> We've seen this before. The choke slam to hell. And that does it. One, two, and three. Let's get that official word, Cruz. <laughs> Here is your winner. Killer Nichols. I love this trio, this trio of chaos right here. Boink the Clown, Killer Nichols, and the Mastermind, Boyd Bradford, the Bradford Exchange. It's been an incredible week here on GCW Wrestling.